patient. With HIPAA, you cannot purposely release information of the patients because the information is private. Unless you, uh, you're specifically told by the patient that you can release information to a specific person or organization. You cannot release information because it is against the law. Plagiarism is deliberate, deliberate use of other people's work. Uh, you cannot you cannot copy their work, you cannot get their work and claim it as your own because that is not your work and you can get in trouble for it. In school you can get an F, you can get a zero because that is not your work. And in college you can uh, get in real trouble with that. You can get expelled from college for plagiarism and you have to start your whole career over just because you plagiarized. Helping each other is okay, but not giving each other answers. You cannot be using technology while you do an exam or anything that is specific knowledge that you have to have. Be yourself. That's cheating. Plagiarize my work. That's gonna. It's not good. Because it's not gonna benefit you at all. I'm a pass. No. Because you won't learn anything. Why did this happen to you? This is not you. This is a dream. You're like unstoppable. This is not right. Like, no. When we focused on our Next Skills Institute unit, we talked about a lot of different, basically, workplace um, skills that we would not, like we want to learn in the future, especially in healthcare. And we're just going to go over some that we read about and we took notes about and took tests about. So basically, we learned about um, service orientation, which is about like the external, internal, about the jobs and like the people you work with and your attitudes towards them. We also learned about like multiculturalism in the workplace, how, especially in California, everybody in everywhere, we're all multicultural, nobody's the same, you know. It's very diverse, so they just teach you about how different cultures, you know, have different traditions and different. Um, I guess aspects of life, I guess you could say, and it was actually pretty interesting. I learned a lot about that, and then the can-do is the navigating technology. So in we're pretty much advanced in technology as our age now because, I mean, our society revolves around it, and so that was kind of obvious. It was just kind of touching back on things and also going into a little bit more advanced stuff. So it was actually pretty helpful, and it will help you in the future. Yeah, um, we also learned about um, creativity and innovation. Like, for example, um, let's just say at Starbucks, they didn't have a, um, a certain cup. They didn't have a, uh, like, the, the tall cup. So what, we, what you would do for creativity is that for Venti Cup, you would say, buy one and get some food free. And that's creativity because you're thinking about it. Think about what can you do to make people still come go there and buy, um, not a tall cup, but a Venti Cup. Um, and also, it's innovate, innovation because you're using your creativity for your advantage, for your store's advantage. So you can get a profit, and you can get people to buy, you know, uh, something that's more expensive. Um, you also learned about uh, communication with active listening. Um, basically, it's talking about the pros of communicating well with your team members or with your employees. You, know, you get a bond of respect. You get productivity, which helps your job which in turn helps you because then you can maintain that job uh, and be very well financially stable. 
we also learned about um, effective communication and the barriers that uh, the barriers that go along with it, whether it would be physical barriers, um, they could be external barriers, internal barriers between the person themselves that uh, they may not understand you. So they, they, what it's trying to say is trying to get past that so you can fully understand the person that you're talking to. Um, you're also um, talking about teamwork, how to maintain a team and how to uh, be respectful with one another and how to fully use your team to get the job done, to maintain um, your job's financial status in the long run, to make sure it's up and running. And um, we also talked about what your right as an employee is and the process of becoming an employee. For example, uh, your, for an employer, they cannot ask you about your religious practices, your age, your ethnicity, your um, you know, color of your skin, for example, your sexual orientation, um, your physical abilities, and uh, your medical conditions. Those are all against the law. And those are all for the uh, employee to use so they could um, have a fair, even chance of keeping and uh, getting a job. And that's uh, about it. They give us a lot of examples so we can practice them, like he said, at the Starbucks. Every chapter, they give us examples. They give us um, activities to work in a group and figure out problems, figure out um, like that, just exactly like that. Um, basically, it makes it feel like you're actually in the workplace and it really benefits you and you. it looks very good on your resume if you get the certificate. professional portfolio. We use, we've used this quite a few times this whole year. Um, it contains a whole lot of things like a letter of introduction, uh, a sample application, um, my cover letter, and a resume for, you know, applying for jobs. And it also has work samples to display all the things we've been doing over the past few years. Um, some handwritten samples as well. Uh, we also have uh, NSI notes for national standards um, for health, you know, OSHA and stuff like that. We also have transcripts and more transcripts. Uh, we also have community service logs and, and references for when you need that one person to say something good about you so you can get that job. Hospice is a special concept of care designed to provide comfort to patients and their families. It also provides a variety of bereavement and counseling service to families before and after a patient's death. A midwife is a person trained to assist women in childbirth. They are not a fully licensed obstetrician. Midwives provide care during labor, delivery, and after birth. So midwives generally provide reproductive education and fertility nutrition and exercise, contraception, pregnancy health, breastfeeding, and infant care. They can be found in hospitals, homes, and birthing centers. rap to you real quick I want to enjoy the luxury of like not knowing each other for real hold up Lord is flower by firefly when I'm low she take me high I can teach you all the sounds of love Flower bomb, let me guess your favorite fragrance, and you got that bomb. <laughs> I'm trying to detonate you, no disrespecting, baby. Just try and make you smile. Try to keep my spirits up, that's why I lay it down. Try to keep your spirits up, little vodka, whatever. Took it forever to get dressed, I acknowledge your effort. 
so I clap for her. She deserves an applause. Shawty working so hard, she deserves that baton. Shawty wear your baton, racing through my mind like she heard that I got that work. I heard that she been on strike. Care to tell? I read your mind. She been on them dollars first. 